Hello, class. How are you? Hello, teacher. How are you? Rafael? I'm fine. Thank you. All right. Well, uh, you? I'm good. I'm happy. It's raining. <laughs> Finally. Oh, yes. It's cold. No, nah, maybe not cold. Maybe it's cool. Well, here is cool in Cotepec. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Well, maybe Cote is cold. Yes. What about uh, um, La Palma? Jose say yes, it's cold. Yes, really cold. Man, that's cool. Yes. I'm sorry, Jose say yes. I forgot you. Where do you work? I work in my own office. I am a lawyer. There you go. You're a lawyer. Yes. So you work in uh, La Palma. Yes. And what is your speciality? Um, I don't know how to say notarial, area notarial. Mm. Notary area. You're a notary. Yes. Okay. Are you a notariado? Yes. Uh, I I passed the exam in 2016. And how many tries? One try. Really? Wow. I heard the yes. exam is very difficult, right? Yes, it's very difficult, but I think you have to you have to be in fast. How do you say fast? Peace of mind. Uh, peace of mind. And, and that's all. I have a friend that maybe is like 10 years and he never passes the exam it's or real. 15 years. Yeah. You know, oh, my, my, my yeah. brother, his wife is a lawyer, mm -hmm. but she was a lawyer here in El Salvador and they moved, mm -hmm. they moved to United States. Okay. And she continued, like, I think she got some credit of her classes she took here. So she became a lawyer again in the United States. And she passed the bar in the first try. Interesting. Yeah, she works in the United States. Yes, as a, as a lawyer. It passed the bar. <laughs> So now she's making maybe like a hundred and twenty thousand dollars a year or more. What? Well, I have to I have to try to go to the United States. <laughs> yes, go. <laughs> That's a good business in the United States. Everything is legal. Yes. My lawyer, my lawyer, my lawyer. Many people don't don't doesn't don't like to pay a lawyer because they prefer it or another things, but lawyer it's it's it's, it's a work that it's necessary. People, it's necessary, but many people don't. I don't know how this how to say as you have last post. They don't care, they leave it like that. They don't care. Exactly. Well done, give me one minute. Do you have many people who call you for free advice? Yes, many people. If you say somebody, uh, hey, you you have to pay me in the last call. Oh yeah, and never back. Mm -hmm. I have a friend. He's a doctor, and they always call him doctor. Physically, I have this. I have that. I have that. What can I take? Hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Can you open Can your? You too? Yeah, yeah. Did you hear about? Uh, um, there was a birth in the airport. A lady she uh, gave she gave birth yesterday, I think, in the airport. The Oh, okay, yes, yes. You use birth, so yeah, birth. Uh -huh. She gave birth. Oh, okay. Yes. Did Did you see that? Yes. I have a question. What nationality? Uh -huh. What nationality is the baby? Um, depends the nationality of Iroquois. If she has um, the hey, her baby in no, the airplane. No, she had the baby in the airport. It's so, Salvadorian. But the the airport is international. Yes, but it's uh in, here in El Salvador. Oh, okay. No, but you know why? When I got married, I got married in church. Um, en contra mi voluntad. <laughs> but, uh, you know, my mother, she obligated me. Okay. But I was speaking with the priest. Sacerdote. Mm -hmm. So he, I, I know that every church is property of the Vatican. Every church mm -hmm. is property of the Vatican. So I asked the priest, what happens if a woman gives birth in a church? And the priest told me that that baby gets Italian citizenship. Really? Yes, I was really. <laughs> so I was thinking when when my wife was pregnant, I'm but wait. Just wait, wait, and go knock on the church. <laughs> but but uh, I think it's just in the Catholic Church. Yes, right? yeah. Or I'm talking. I'm, I'm, no, I'm talking about Catholic Church. Uh, okay. But you know, and that's why that. But that was a long time ago. So that's why I remember yesterday. I'm. All, Wow, that's strange because if that baby was born in an international airport, what nationality is he? For for yes, example, the, for same, exa the same question is if is is in the a ship, a barco. Uh -huh, a ship. Yes, uh, it depends where the the ship are. But I have some friends some friends that are gringos gringos and when they mm -hmm. they have had the baby in the embassy and the baby is citizen i mean he's american because the embassy is property of the united states correct the same the same and the embassy thing. is in el salvador mm -hmm. the same thing is for the ship and airplane depends who is the owner of Oh. The airplane uh, embassy. Oh, okay. Did you watch that movie from Tom Hanks, The Terminal? Uh, no, totally not. Oh, that was an interesting movie because it's something similar to what happened yesterday. He was coming to the United States, but only to visit. Mm -hmm. And I think he was from some country, and you know, in Russia, that a cada rato se separan. <laughs> Países in Russia. So he was some for some country from the ex-Russia. And when he was coming to America, his country had a, a civil war. Mm -hmm. So the country disintegrated. So the country stopped existing. So when he arrived to the terminal, they told him, no, your country doesn't exist. And he says, what? <laughs> So he 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 lived in the airport because but wow. he could he couldn't take one step outside of the airport. That's what Tom Hanks. It's a, it's a very good movie, and I think it was based on a true story. How it's called the movie? What's the, the name? The, name? the, the terminal. terminal. Mm. 
have you ever heard the story about an astronaut that uh, uh, belongs to the Urs and then uh, the Urs disappear and the, the uh, investigation doesn't have phones to to try it. Green? Yeah, that's that's a true story. But what are you talking about? So he was in space? Yes. And what happened to the? He, but is this recent or or he? No, no, he was of the Urs. USSR. Yeah. I don't know. I, I don't remember. Yes, it's Russia. The Union U Soviética. USSR. Yeah, and right now it's, it's Russia. Yes. Yeah, but in in English you don't say Urs. You say USSR. U S R. Ah. USR. Okay. No, USSR. The hecho of the Beatles USSR. Have a song. Back in the USSR. The Beatles have a song. For yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. So mm -hmm. what happened with the Salvadorian um astronaut? Is he still in space? I don't know. Um, no idea. Yeah. But I say watch that movie. It's called The Terminal with Tom Hanks. It's very, very good. It's interesting. The the history, yeah, that one. The the history, the story is very interesting. Yes, Tom Hanks. Mm -hmm. Okay, I got it. And you know the sad part? I think I remember that he only wanted to go visit a museum. That's why he was going to the United States, only to visit. And he couldn't speak English very well, so he didn't understand what was happening. Okay. So, so when when so like I told you, so I was thinking when my baby was gonna be born, really, really, I told my wife, "Hey, do you want to go to church?" <laughs> sure, but the, if uh, that was true, uh, many people do that. But I don't think many people know. Mm -hmm. uh, well. Or or también, you know, the priest, I mean, the woman literally, literally, she has to, porque lo que va a hacer the church, wait, let's call an ambulance and, you know, give him some. <laughs> Unless the woman is like, yeah, no, nah, nah, okay, have it here. Mm -hmm. okay. eh, aquí me he enterado que ha habido gente que ha querido tener hijos en la, en frente de la embajada. Sí, en la, en la grama. <laughs> they have tried. They have. But what happened at the end? Oh, no. The, the, the security. So they, uh -huh. the, the embassy security, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. That's not allow them to do it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but like if you are an American, an American citizen or, or Native American. No, if you're a gringo and you live here and your wife is pregnant, and your wife is going to give birth here, you have two options. Your baby can be born here in El Salvador and have Salvadorian and American citizenship, or your baby can be born in, um, in the embassy, and he, he would only have American citizenship. Que actor famoso nació en, en Inglaterra. En... I think he was born in Germany, but he was born in an embassy. So that is considered United States territory. So, of course, he's American. That's interesting, huh? But it's a Vaticano school. But have you have you ever doubt about what the priest told you? Have you investigated? No, you know, is? no, I, I I haven't investigated, but I do think it's true because I knew. Have you noticed that during the Civil War, they can take a church, 
and the police can't go inside a church and take you. Remember here in the 80s and 90s, the FMLN always took Catedral. And people always say, hey man, but what happened? How come the police doesn't go in there and, and take them? They can't because that's when I learned that all the Catholic churches are property of the Vatican. Oh. Uh -huh. So that's why I asked the priest when I was going to get married. O sea, yo cambié el tema y también porque no quería hablar de, de, de la Biblia. Entonces <laughs> quería hablar un poco de políticas with the priest. Tuve que ir a una charla, man, de cuatro horas. Dos días. Before you get married. Yes, that was so boring. <laughs> yeah. So I, uh, he, had, he had a very big book, the priest. He had a, a very big book of laws. And I asked him. Huh? And another church is too easy. That's yeah. Right. Yeah. No, and that's when I asked him, hey, is it true that all the churches are property of the Vatican? He says, yes. So that's why when there is a war, people always take possession of, of the church and the government can't do anything. So yeah, only, only if the government of the Vatican says, hey, yeah, second laws. <laughs> but if not, um, well, you remember Panama, Noruega? President Noruega, have you heard of him? Of the ex-president, <clears throat> Manuel Noriega? No. Well, he was a very, very extremely corrupt president of Panama. So when the United States went to Panama to take him, he went to a church. And, but it was, it was stupid because the army was outside the church. They were, they were only waiting for him to come out and he was inside. And you know what they did? They put like um, speakers around the church and they put heavy metal music day and night. Interesting. Yes. Hoy en día pusieran Bad Bunny. Like, okay, okay, salgo, pero ya. Yeah. ¿Qué <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, so that was interesting. That's why uh, the, the ex-president, he went to church. I, I don't know how long he stayed inside the church, but eventually they, I mean, the, the United States could not go inside the church. So they, they said, okay, he has to come out one day. So think about it, Claudia, Allison, if you ever have a baby and you live close to a church, hold, hold, lo más que puedan, aguant and say, yeah. <laughs> and your baby is Italian. You know something I did not know either until recently? Y siempre digo, I'm going to go, I'm going to go, I'm going to go check. And I never go. Ya llevo como tres años con eso. That in Spain, España, te dan ciudadanía hasta tercera generación. So, my, my grandfather was from Spain. He was the that father of my mother so you have the right yeah supposedly <laughs> i am third generation so and, and i always say i'm gonna go check i'm going to go check i'm going to go check but i, I don't know a tiktoker from mexico uh -huh. and her grandmother is from spain and he, she also is Spanish. Oh, really? So it's true. She, she, yeah, she has a passport from Spain. Very nice. Uh, yeah, that's true. So I'm going to go. I said, hello, my name is David Baltrons. 
and my grandfather was Roberto Balt no, como se llama mi abuelo, sí. Antonio, Oops. Antonio Baltrons. They will check. Yeah, it. you can go to the embassy. I don't know. I will. So next time the class will be. I voy a estar con cómo se, quién estaba quién está en España. Um, in the class, remember, we have a lady, a, a girl. She's in Spain. Rosa Maria. Rosa Maria. Yes, thank you. But it's like four in the morning. Okay, we're going to do this. Hold on, look. Wedding shop leaves brides waiting in altar. First of all, do you, we understand the wedding shop? What is a wedding shop? No. Uh, uh, dresses for wedding. Yes. I don't know if there are some in this, but well, yeah, I think I've seen one in um, Sona Rosa. At least the Uno that's very famous, but. But here are more like boutiques. Yeah, they're more boutiques. But I but those boutiques, they sell everything. They sell clothes and everything, but wedding shops mm -hmm. are exclusively for, for weddings. Uh, usually in the places that sell uh, wedding dresses, mm -hmm. also also have uh, other uh, dresses like for uh, December or the or or just attendance to a wedding. Oh really? Oh cool. Yeah. I I know. Uh some uh some stores uh for for wedding dress in mercado san miguelito many oh yes many stores it's, oh yes it's very famous mercado Miguel, san miguelito is famous for parties right for baptisms yes. baptisms and anniversaries yeah and you also know, the mercado central Yes, too. Right now, but, the, the Mercado Central is cheaper than San Miguelito. Oh, really? Yes. Oh, okay. That I don't know because I, 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 yeah, but, but I think Mercado Miguelito is always like, well, that's like, like Mercado Miguelito is like the tradition, I think. But, yeah, but um, most of the sellers are the uh, revendedores. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. I remember when I got married, I got married with no shoes in the church. Why? Why? Because uh, I wanted to get married in my old stars. <laughs> and, um, and it was like authentic. I wanted something authentic in my wedding. So but my wife said no, 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 my mom and, and everybody. So I said no, I don't have I don't have dress shoes. Those if they, you can pick your dress wedding, I can pick my shoes. <laughs> no, I said, hey, look, I don't want to get married in church. You obligated me. Okay. So I said, okay, no wedding. I said, no, no. So I will get married, but in my in my all stars. And my wife said, okay, then that's on. But my wife told my mother. So then my mother bought me shoes, some very expensive shoes for the wedding. Those anymore, I put them on, but I don't know if I was very nervous that day, but my, my foot was very big. So the shoes didn't fit. So, you know, maybe I was nervous. I don't know. But in shadows, my, my feet were. What size are you? 11 or just that day no no i mean it wasn't the long it wasn't the length it was i think the sh or the shoes were very small and, and my my foot is very fat i think so <laughs> i couldn't walk 
really, I, I, I showed up to church and went, no, I want them in the Lord. So I, I took them on. And um, it's funny. So I got married just in socks. And in the video, you can see that. <laughs> and what about the pictures? Oh, yeah. I, I the, the pictures, you know, it, hey, wait, you, one sock had a hole. Really? <laughs> yes. But, but I guess it was from the shoe when they took it out. So it was cool. Oh my goodness. <laughs> so listen, this this part, uh, this this happened waiting at the altar. Okay. So look, I'm going to read. And after every paragraph, I will stop and ask me if you don't understand. It says, every year, more than 300,000 brides in the UK go shopping for the perfect gown to help make their wedding the perfect day. What is a gown? I don't know. Gown is su traje. Okay. We caught up with furious brides who would try to ask Verna and Robert Davis the people who run the It's Your Day wedding shop in Thornbury, England, why they didn't get dresses in time or at all. Heather Molloy paid 650 pounds to the, the, to the devices for a deposit on her dress. After her second visit, she realized Verna Davis was not measuring up to her expectations. Heather said, I had several fittings canceled or delayed for different reasons and different excuses. And this went on for a period of time. I was worried because I was supposed to pick up my wedding dress two weeks before the wedding, and she said, no, don't worry, everything's going to be okay. The ceremony was planned. The cake was chosen. The guests were invited, but there was still no wedding dress. Finally, on the night before her wedding, when she was supposed to be having dinner with family and friends, Heather got the call to say her dress would be ready. However, when she got there, the dress still wasn't ready. The Davises promised to work on the dress all night and deliver it first thing in the morning on the big day. After a sleepless night, Heather had just two hours to go before her wedding, and there was still no sign of the Davises. With one hour to spare, Heather finally cut her losses. She went to the nearest wedding shop and bought a replacement dress off the rack. She never even got a refund on her deposit. We also sp spoke to Robin Brown who is getting married two days from now. She didn't know whether or not she would receive her dress on time. So she already bought a replacement. What's more, Rachel Thorpe took the Davises to court after they supplied her with, with a gift. What eyes? After they supplied her, I can't see that very well in my computer. That was def defective and it wasn't, and it didn't even fit her. We asked the Davises for a statement regarding the complaints, but so far they haven't issued one. And we're wondering if they will. 
That will never happen in El Salvador. They will burn her store. <laughs> ah, you're not going to pay me, man. Okay. <laughs> so we have eight. Heather had to cancel a pre-wedding dinner to pick up the dress. We, we have to go in order. Which one's number one? Letter C. C is number one. And then number two? Letter A. Letter A. And... Um... Who is married here? Suma Beatriz, are you married? Yeah. Okay. Mercy Jamilet, are you married? Oh, no, you're not. You're no. Yeah. Dennis, are you married? No, I'm just living in sin. You're living in sin. Oh, you sinner. Rafael Antonio, are you married? Yes. All right, cool. So um, I have a question. Do you remember the day of your wedding? Everything was perfect? Yes, yes. Really? Every yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow, you're the first person I hear that everything came out perfect. There's always something that happens. Maybe like something little, not something serious, but always something happens. All right. What about you, Sulma? Excuse me, I don't understand. Remember the, the day the day of your wedding, everything was like planned? Um, eh, don't plan. Eh, fue así bien fugas. Casémonos y ya. Así bien fugas. No, the day, <laughs> the day of your wedding, the day you got married. Do you remember okay, see. the yes. party? Okay. Uh, did everything come out as planned? Okay. Um, before the wedding, you plan a party, correct? You you invite people and everything. So then, when the day comes, did all your plans all your plans were perfect? No, perfect. What no. happened? Um, the dinner. Uh, no, I can't so. It wasn't enough. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. No, please repeat. The dinner wasn't uh -huh. enough. The dinner wasn't enough. Okay, good. Okay. Y yes, that happened to me too. Here's a recommendation for everybody. Hmm. When you are invited to a wedding and the wedding says, I don't know, uh, Alison Lopez, you are invited to the wedding of David Baltrans, you and plus one. So on you and somebody. Yes? So that means Allison and your husband, maybe, or your friend or your mother, but only you and one person. But oh no, our culture. Here, here comes Allison. Uh, not, not to Allison. It's an example. Here comes Allison with my mother, my father, my husband, my, my, father. my my husband, my cousin, my husband, cousin. Wait, and, in, <laughs> in my wedding, in my wedding, they took the kid and the babysitters. And I was like, what the hell, man? Oh, oh my God. The babysitters, really? The babysitters? What's all? We don't have that culture of putting in the, in the, I don't know, in, in la invitación. The number of people. No, yes. Wow. Well, yeah, we do. I mean, I, I've seen the part. Yeah, I have seen, but we don't have 
we don't we don't maybe, respect the, the rule mm, no it's because uh, that is new for me from five or seven years ago okay. no but that's a very common now o sea dice reservado para tres personas para dos personas etc yeah it's very common mm -hmm. and... now, now it's common yeah, the people also ask uh, to confirm if the person invited will go or not. Yes, too. That's true, too. You know what I think is the most difficult part about planning a wedding? Is, is the people you invite. Because, like, for example, hey, we'll invitar, let's say a, a Huicho, like my good friend Huicho. Pero Huicho lives with his mom and his mom was very cool with me. So yo pasaba en la casa de Huicho, you know, la mamá de Huicho bien buena onda conmigo, pero y la hermana y los tíos que viven en la casa. So you have to invite everybody. <laughs> so you know, and you're like, oh man. Mm, not just for the wedding, for all the parties. No, because when, 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 when you have a really, really good friend and they they accept you in their family. Do do you have friends like that? That when you, yes. since you were little, that you go visit them and oh hi, come in. So when it's time to for a wedding, and you want to invite your friend, really mala onda that you don't invite the father and the mother because they were like a family to you, and that's when things start getting complicated. Because hey, el abuelo y vive them. Oh my God, you know, <laughs> so. Sometimes to invite one friend, you have to invite three more people or four. So I think that was the most complicated thing about getting married. So in this case, this poor woman, imagine, imagine um, giving a deposit and then the people did not, did not respond. That's crazy. But I think I this... Hmm? Yes, go ahead. No, I was wondering why the wedding dress are too expensive. So if you see six, 650 pounds, mm -hmm. so that's, that's... For me, it's too much expensive. It's just a dress. I don't know. And, and they are going to use it just once. Exactly, because they are selling the moment not not the quality and women go crazy with weddings you know like oh my god and i want this even flowers everything is so ridiculous and they're expensive you know like yeah four hundred dollars for see. flowers <laughs> <laughs> but i don't see not only for the moment because a wedding dress it has a lot of work so some people work by hand yes. creating the dress. No, it's true. It's true, but it's still very expensive. It's like, it's like for example, let me give you another example. Dennis, you have children, correct? Yes. Do you remember when they were babies, maybe like one month or three months, and you bought them shoes, and the shoes cost $20, and I don't know why they use shoes, because they can't even walk. Pero no, ahí están las mamás. Ay, no, hay que comprarle los guines. Qué bonitos son gatitos. You know, like, and they never, and they never even use the stupid shoes. <laughs> so, yeah, I think, I think, I think that it's, it's a good marketing because uh, the companies, yes, Mercy Yamilet, is, she said something is true, the quality, but um, people want, they sell everything for the moment because it's an, it's an unforgettable day, the occasion, not the moment, the occasion. What my wife did, I think she she had a dress, her wedding dress, that uh, she had it made for that occasion, and then she can cut it, and then it was a nightgown. And she uses it sometimes when we go on dates, like a normal dress. So it's cool. Do you know how much my my suit cost for my wedding? 
How much? One dollar and fifty cents. Me costó más el dry cleaning. Because everybody asks me, hey, Dennis, I, of course I do, man. Every man has to have a, a suit. Of I didn't. I didn't have a suit. But if I told that to my mother or 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 my wife, they would tell me, I pues no, let's go. You can really come up para que las cojas, you know, and, and like $200 or something. So no, I went to El Premium. Empezar todo los saco. Wow, this one's perfect. This one's nice. And it was really, really nice. It was a Perry Alice. How much is this? $5, but it has a discount. So it was $150. Thank you. I bought it and I took it to the dryer. No, no, me costó más caro el dry cleaning. And that was my. But actually, men's are. are I, are easy than yeah. women. So we're not I, we're not I, complicated. Yeah, exactly. I have a I have a friend that a few months just graduated from the university and he did the same. Yes. So he went to the I don't know if it was the premium or but a store like that. And yeah, he paid like five dollars, I think. <laughs> there was there was no any discount. But yeah, he paid like five dollars. But if you tell a woman, hey, go there and try to purchase something there, so she, she oh, never yeah. is gonna do it. So they they need a lot of days before the event to get ready. So oh yeah, man, man's are easy. You know, yes, and they become very angry. Like um my best friend, my best friend, he is gay. And he was the coordinator. And one thing I told him, please, Carlos, just don't talk to me. I mean, anything related to the wedding, talk to her because I don't, I don't know. If I say yes, no, but no. <laughs> what flowers do you like? Uh, esas, no. Mejor. So why do you ask me? <laughs> so, like, and you know, I was very relaxed, but women start getting crazy, like three, two days before the wedding. Oh my God, they're like, they can't sleep. And they're like, oh my God, they're very tense. And I tell her, this is a happy day. Enjoy. Mm -hmm. So man, we're not complicated. Okay, let's listen to the instructions. Listen to a conversation between exchange students, then choose the correct answer. Do you know what is an exchange student? Yes. Yes. Do we have that in El Salvador? Yes, we have. Yes, we have. Although we have it for uh, the the uh, expensive schools. Mm, and the university is is now common. Oh really? Oh, okay. I remember a, like for example, not not. Too common, but uh, for example, like five or ten students from every year go to other country, uh, and also uh, sometimes they have uh, uh, foreign foreigners students as well. Yeah, I understand that. For example, Colegio Alemán, el cole Escuela Alemana. The last year of high school, they have to go to to uh, Germany, and they exchange, and somebody comes here. So, escuela alemana en francés, I think, like well, the 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 rich people. Imagine the Instituto Nacional de Irán. Oh man. <laughs> <laughs> Su año de bachillerato van a ir a Irán. Oh, no. sure. Teacher. Yes. But yes. they are the academy of the at that too. Which academy? Uh, academy of security, not uh, uh, where the the police go to training. Oh really? You you go uh, to uh, country? 
yeah, we had interchange with uh, uh, people from Chile, uh, people from Korea, uh, people from Belize, uh, from Honduras, and from Nicaragua. Oh. I think the police of El Salvador has very good log logistic. A big can, a big can of. It's a what? Uh, of a student. Hmm? It's a big. Uh, yes. It's a big field. Uh, the the place that they are. Boris, I hear that the best police. Or police training or something is in Israel. No. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, I heard that I, the Israeli army and the and the the police they are the top of. They they had the top of the technic, the the the, the technology. Yes. Mm -hmm. Cool, man. Israel is cool. I want to go to Israel someday. Okay, let's listen to this. Let's listen to the um conversation about the um. Let me share the phone about the exchange students. Listen to a conversation. Can you hear? Yes. Okay. Between yes. two exchange students, Akiko and Jack. Then check the correct answers. Hi, Jack. Hello there, Akiko. How are you? Not bad. How about you? Excellent. I'm really enjoying living with my American host family. Yeah, me too. Except that sometimes it's hard to follow their customs. What do you mean? Well, the food mainly. My host family eats cereal and milk for breakfast and cheese sandwiches for lunch. And for dinner, they usually eat some kind of pasta with cheese sauce. Yeah, and? Is that weird? Well, at home, I don't eat so much milk and cheese. That's a lot of dairy. What does your family normally eat? Japanese food, mainly. For breakfast, we usually eat rice and miso soup. For lunch and dinner, we eat rice and some type of grilled meat or fish often with eggs. Sometimes my mother makes seafood and vegetables with noodles or prepares a tofu dish. We don't eat cheese or drink milk very often. I guess I never thought about how much dairy people eat here. Is it different in Australia? Well, Australians do eat a lot of dairy, but maybe not as much as Americans. What is traditional Australian food like? Hmm, well, Breakfast is pretty much the same, milk and cereal, or muesli. For lunch and dinner, Aussie food used to be a lot like British food, lots of meat pies and fish and chips. But now there is more variety. Sandwiches are common, and we eat a lot of meat. Lamb and beef are popular. Some people even eat kangaroo steak, but that's a special dish. Kangaroo steak? What's that like? Delicious. You should try it. But hey, I love Japanese food too. I miss it so much. Hey, let's find a good Japanese restaurant and eat out tonight. Great idea. Have you noticed that El Salvador is more Americanized now? For example, now it's very normal for a child. Oh, sorry, a child from Escalón, Santa Elena, Popa, New, uh, Soyapang, anywhere. And the child said, Mama, send me pancakes. When 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 I was a child in El Salvador and I said pancakes, ki, 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 oi, oi, pancakes. You know, was like, that was something like a, a luxury on Lujo, you know, like oh, oh, coming pancakes, hot cakes. Now it's something very normal. Actually, the name. Uh, I think that we in El Salvador in Spanish we don't have a name to refer. I have I have always known yes. like pancakes. I don't know yes, if there is a we name. have pancakes. No, but but that's a that's an American dish. Yes. 
No, but what I'm saying, like 15 years ago, that was not very common to uh, eat that for breakfast here. Now it's a tip. It's a, it's like if somebody like like what Akiko asked, what, what's something? What's a typical breakfast in your country in El Salvador? Well, the traditional the traditional breakfast is eggs, beans, and plantains. But a typical uh, pupusas, yes. But a typical breakfast is that or pancakes or tamales. Hot, tamales. All right. So Akiko isn't used to eating what. Vegetables and soup. Cheese. Cheese, oh, no. but I don't know why uh, the, the right is vegetables and soup. Really? <laughs> yeah, that was wrong in the platform. Oh, man. But, but Akiko uh, yeah, isn't I, used to eat cheese. According to the audio, oh. yes, she, that's what she mentioned. It was too much cheese. Yes, I remember that. Okay. So, yeah, this is the correct, but the platform says this is the correct. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Akiko eats blank for breakfast. What does she eat? Cereal and milk. A typical Australian. Eggs and rice with fish. Yeah, that, yes, I think I think number two is really not as specific because this is what she's used to eating, eggs, rice, and fish. But I think now she eats this, cereal and milk. That's not right. But what did the platform say? Eggs and rice with fish. Okay. A typical Australian breakfast is what? Milk and cereal. A typical Australian dinner is similar to a typical wet dinner. British. 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 Okay, let's listen to this one. Boris, are those gunshots? I can hear you. Some balazos. It eso. is raining. It is raining. Oh, it, it is raining. raining. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I heard something like. Oh, it start to rain. Listen to a con oh, okay. conversation right, between two students. Then check the correct answers. Hi, Carl. Hey, you seem annoyed. What's up? Oh, I'm just mad because it took me an hour and a half to get to school today. Why? All the construction on the subway lines. My regular train was delayed, so I had to take a different train. And then I got on the wrong one, and it's just so frustrating. Yeah, I hate that. I know they have to work on the subway lines. That's not the problem. The thing that bothers me is they don't tell you in advance. They just change the schedule and you're stuck. I mean, what if I had missed a test in one of my classes? But you didn't. No, but I missed an appointment with my advisor. Now I have to wait two weeks to see her. And my graduate school applications are due soon. Bummer. Yeah. I need her help with my personal essays. One of them is driving me crazy. Just ask someone to switch appointments with you. That's a good idea. I'll check the names on the list of appointments posted outside her door. Thanks. Why is Carl upset? His train was delayed. Good. Carl missed the what? Meeting with, meeting his, with advisor. his advisor. Okay. Carl is having trouble with? An uh, easy for the application. An essay. Essay. Sorry. What is that? What's essay? up, essay? Essay. Essay is. Um... 
un ensayo, yes. Write an essay about, about your school. Write an essay about, about the tournament. Write an essay about your job, about your family. Got it. You say uh, something that you uh, made important uh, when you try to defend. Also too, yes. The woman suggests that Carl. Switch up my All right, we got them all right. Of course we can. Combine and rewrite the sentences. Here, let me see. Let's show the answer, the correct answer. Okay, so for example, number one, people in France study British English. Japanese people generally study American English, unlike. So unlike people in France, Japanese people generally study American English. Correct? So number two is some people love online shopping. Some people have never shopped online. What is the correct? Okay, while some people love online shopping, some people have never shopped online. Uh, Claudia Marcela Linares Urquilla. <laughs> have you yeah. ever have you ever shopped online? Yeah, many okay. times. Right. Allison, have you ever shopped online? Yes, I have. Okay, Mercy. Yes. Okay. Look at the difference between women and men. Um, Boris, have you ever shopped online? Yes, I do. Oh, you have? What about you, Jose Isaias? Have you ever shopped online? Yeah. No, teacher. And you, Dennis? Yes. And you, I Rafael? Did. No, me, me no. Hey, pedidos ya no cuenta. <laughs> okay, so everybody loves shopping, correct? So what this is saying, like, while some people love online shopping, some people have never shopped online. Some people love online shopping in the United States, Amazon, eBay. Okay, next. Yeah, Alibaba. Teenagers like chatting online. My brother prefers books on the internet. So unlike teenagers, my brother prefers books to the internet. All teenagers like chatting online, unlike my brother who prefers books to the internet. Sue's parents are traditional. They want her to have a career. Sue's parents are traditional, except for the fact that they want her to have a career. Part two, it says, why don't more people care about good manners? I'd like to know. I'd like to know why more people don't care about good manners. Do you know what is good manners? No. Buenos modales. Yeah. Buenos modales, yes. Thank you. A uh, good behavior. Um, well, actually, good behavior doesn't mean that you have good manners. Good behavior is that you respect. But good manners is like, you know, the traditional open the door for a lady. And say good morning, say good night, say thank you, say you're welcome. Say, excuse okay. me, eat with your mouth closed. Those are good manners. The HOI table manners. What do you think is a table manner? Um, people used to uh, eat with a spoon mm -hmm. um, for I don't remember how to say tenedor, par, but I don't know. Pork. 
for uh -huh. a knife. Yeah, for example, like if you if you have table manners, like this people don't do, and I, I do it, but some people don't. It's like, you know, you see pizza, right? The palitroques, right? And you get one. And imagine in a cocktail party or a reunion. And you get a breadstick of the pizza and you dip it in the sauce. Yes. You dip. Supuestamente eso hay que hacerlo una vez. The dip. Okay. It's as etiquette. <laughs> yes, it's ethical. Uh -huh. Yeah. I think you have to do it with the knife. No, no. Uh, cut no. a piece of palitrokers and then took a... N not really. Unless you haven't touched it with your mouth, it's still a virgin. So you get it fresh, you dip it, you eat it, that's it. But don't dip that yes. again. I understand. Yeah. So some people get offended. Oh my God, no, no, no. Why? Yet in a position of walk, and you're going to put it in the dip again. It's your yeah. own sauce. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, next it says how can people afford to buy homes in this city? Do you know what is afford? Mm, no, no, no sé la traducción correcta, pero que, es, que está como a su alcance. Económico. Uh -huh. Yes. It's like today, I don't understand how people can afford to buy houses. I, I just watched a video that says that, that right now, just couple without children can afford a house. In El Salvador? Uh, not only in El Salvador, in general. Oh, okay. Why don't more upscale restaurants serve vegetarian dishes? What I don't get is why more upscale restaurants don't serve vegetarian dishes? Do you know what is upscale? Nope. No. Okay, Don Pollo is good. What is the difference between Don Pollo and, and Pollo Campero? Nope. People, people say El Mimo Pollo. It is, but what's the difference? It's supposed that has more quality. It's more upscale. Oh, mm. the receipt. <laughs> yes. So, you know, it's like more cache. <laughs> yes. Exclusivo. What? I'm sorry? Exclusivo. Like. Yes, it's like more exclusive. Mm -hmm. For example, listen, I am a coffee lover. I love coffee. So, aficionado at coffee, really. And I, I think. La Uno gas station has the best coffee. Pronto coffee. En serio, man, that, that coffee is good. Y ahí mismo se lo hacen, lo muelen y and like it's two dollars. But no, people people go to uh, Starbucks porque it's more upscale, and people pay ten dollars. I want one of those machines. I have I have four coffee machines. I have a traditional coffee machine. I have a um, espresso. I have I am a coffee fan. I love coffee. So, so um, yes, I am a, a coffee. Bamba had a good coffee too. <laughs> Bamba, you know, uh, yeah, I you know who has good coffee too. Uh, um, what's that? I like the coffee there. Is um, Mr. Donut. Oh, what is your favorite brand of coffee? It, they don't sell it here. It's called Lee Lee Harper. Like, but he didn't in Salvador. <laughs> hmm. Honestly, I'll be honest. Cafe Rico. I'll be honest. Cafe but, La Majada. 
Majada, it's, Majada it's is instant good. Instant coffee. No, oh no, it's a mala palabra, please. Instant coffee is not coffee. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Mm. Yo se veo en Facebook, oh, yo sin café no hago nada y están con un sobrecito. Oh, no, that's not coffee. What's Aunque the sea, difference? Oh, there is a big difference. Mm. Aunque sea Folgers, uh, Don Juan Valdez, whatever. I don't know. Instant coffee is not the same to coffee, coffee. No, pero de los baratos, Addison, café rico, pero de cafetera, it's very good. Okay. It's strong. Mahara, I didn't Mahara try it. It's good too. But I mean, I, I'm teacher. asking because I really like coffee too. But uh, from like two years ago, I tried to prepare my my coffee maker and what what I like about my, my what I like about Cafe Rico is that it's very strong. And when you see even the color, when you see the color is very dark and the smell. So the good thing about a strong coffee is that si te salió muy fuerte, you just put a little more water, you know? Mm -hmm. But then <laughs> but then there's like cos cafe, cafe listo. No, no. What happened, Dennis? You had a question? No, yeah, I I was still wondering, but I mean, what is the difference? Is I I don't drink coffee, so okay. for me, coffee it's all the same. But what happened with the instant coffee and the one that you sell is a real coffee? So I the mean, flavor, the flavor. No, you, you, but but I, but think... I mean the process. I mean the process is the grain that you are gonna molera the uh, at uh. In the moment or the instant is the is one that is manufactured for for a well i think i think the instant coffee has a different procedure because it has to dissolve in the water and uh, the coffee from that there is more dangerous than the other coffee mm -hmm. so yeah. the it, other is like is like is like like a tea it's, yes it's like a yes tea. It's and you know, sure. yes, it's Boris. I think the, the, the instant is more artificial. Yes, it's you know, I don't understand because in Salvador we no jactamos de, oh, that our coffee is good, and it's true, it's very good, but we don't really drink good coffee. O sea, el Salvador, no tomo el café bueno, bueno como debería ser. We drink a lot of instant coffee, like you see people go to um. Miren, un café, pero no muy fuerte, please. Oh, eso me duele cuando digo eso. Like, oh, my God. You know, like, or sometimes I go, like, to a pupuseria, you know, like. Do you, you know? prefer a coffee with milk or just a coffee? Just coffee. Me too. Uh, you add sugar yes. or you mm -hmm. don't like with sugar? I, I, you know what? I'll be honest. I do put sugar because ever since I was a little kid, what I don't do. What I don't do is like, for example, if I go to, what I don't like is to have a good, yo y mi esposa entendió eso. I, you know how like sometimes you ask for a coffee con saborizante. I really like the mint. Have you tried, I, I think it's in coffee cup one and todos, even in la uno. Have you tried that, Boris? Coffee with mint? Yes, but I don't like it. I, I, I mean, I prefer coffee normal, but I like coffee with mint. But I don't like to ask for pan dulce or anything or postre because. Le mata el I, think I like more uh, coffee with canela. With cinnamon. I really like desserts. Uh, cinnamon. With, with cinnamon. Yeah. Okay. You know, when, when I eat dessert, I eat the dessert alone with no coffee because I like to enjoy the, 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 what I think is that sometimes if it's like, have you seen some people, this, this is something that I don't understand. I know I see What I don't get is, have you seen some people that drink Coca-Cola with Samita? With what? With Samita or, or Milojas uh -huh. or anything. Sweet, 
No, it's not that. I don't understand why they do that because really the same, you lose the flavor of the Coca-Cola. Oh, okay. Having I, mean, I tried that, like you eat the semita, then Coca-Cola, you know, but really you the 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 when you eat the semita, the you stay with the flavor and the Coca-Cola is not the same. So wow. With mm -hmm. the soup too? <laughs> yes, with the soup. <laughs> When someone put a lot of chilies, oh, that. Oh, yes. It's lot, it's like they flavor. Or salt, or extreme, a lot of salt. Yeah. Yes, that's true. Yeah. But one thing, Allison, you say you like coffee, right? You, you're trying. Let me recommend something. To you. I'm, I'm starting to that do, world. <laughs> do you like coffee strong or normal? normal i prefer normal okay so what i recommend to you is get look at the color of the coffee the darker it is is the stronger mm, and okay. be careful porque hoy es tienen una maña todos ponen gourmet on the coffee oh y es una paja <laughs> Coffee gourmet, coffee gourmet, gourmet. And, you know, people just say it's marketing gourmet. So by encontrar un coffee, they say, okay, this is my coffee. This is it. This, 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 this. Because I've gone to Huayua, yeah, I buy coffee. They, oh, it's the altura de no sé dónde. And when you taste it, it's nothing. Mm -hmm. I would like to have my own coffee tree. I remember that my grandma he used to toast with the sun and then oh. go to to a uh, molino <laughs> a mill and yeah and 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 they um, they do their own coffee. Oh, do you want me to tell you a sick story from my molino? Mhm. Mm my father's wife this was a long long time ago she was going to make pupusas in the house so she invited us and oh, okay cool so when i got there she says oh david look can you do me a favor me puede llevar el molino porque she, she wanted to make the sauce my father lives in carretera los planes like shh. Well, where is the Molino? Ah, la orilla de la calle. So I, I took her. I took her. And when I was waiting, this is like when you start going up to Los Planes. When you start going up to Los Planes. So we were waiting. And then this little pickup came with a barrel, con barril, full of tomatoes, podridos, like rotten. Those, those are aguados. That I imagine in La Tiendona se lo dieron a dos dólares todo ese valido or something. But it was full and um, solo dejaron ir el barril en el molino. Like no clean, nothing. They didn't wash, like nothing. Se miraba hasta el tierra, boy, everything. And I was like looking, I was like, oh my <laughs> Pero obviamente salía bien rojita la salsa y todo. Y quizás dicen, ah, ¿cómo la vamos a hervir? But imagine. So those were the, the, the people that go to los pupuserías en los planes. <laughs> Lástima, no, no había las redes sociales tan famosas para grabar eso. Como, hey, <laughs> ¿quieren ver cómo se hace la salsa de sus pupusas? Así dejaron ir todos esos tomates podridos en el molino. Pero es un barril así, tipo, donde, donde duerme Chespirito, el Chavo del Ocho. Así, sin lavar ni nada. Man. So, be careful. All right, class, then thank you very much. I will see you, oh yeah, on Monday. Monday, yeah. Yes. Don't worry about the platform. Aunque no diga, oh, yeah, because it's easy. I mean, we have this to do. 
but don't worry, okay? Um, worry about participating more in class, talk a little bit more, uh, enjoy, yes? Okay, have a very, very good weekend. I will see you Monday. If Teacher, you, yes. Just yes. a quick question before we leave. I was checking the, the YouTube list, mm -hmm. but, but I saw that there are, there are not all the videos uploaded. I think that there are only four. Uh, I'm wondering when are the, the rest of the videos going to be uploaded because I was trying to get some help to complete the platform. When, when did you check that, today? Today. What time? Yes. Uh, like 3 p.m., I think. They should all be there. Let me check, okay? Or okay. please do me a favor, check again and tell me if they're not there. Yes, I am doing that right now. Let me see. I just closed it. There should be seven, I think. I do only see four. Only for the the last one that I see is from the tenth, July the tenth. Yes, I also I I can um, I can see four. Okay, well. I'll check on that right now so I can tell them to fix it. Okay. okay. So if you have any Thank questions, you. you can always WhatsApp me. Okay. Cool. Okay. okay. Bye, bye bye. Have a good night. Good weekend. Bye. Thank you. You too. Bye. bye. bye.